to the Shite Dairy Farm right here in Columbus, Indiana, my uncle's farm. This is the farm that I grew up around and continue to work on to this day. This video will showcase what an average day on a farm is like and all the hard work that gets put in every single day by local farmers. The day of a dairy farmer starts very early in the morning. Farmers have to wake up at 5.30 on a daily basis and try to stick to a routine schedule. The first job on the farm in the morning is to start milking the cows. The first thing to do when milking is to get the cows out of the barn. At least enough to get started in the milking process. When you start to run out of cows, you go and get the rest. Sometimes the cows can be very, very stubborn. Especially this one right here, Lucy. Then, you start to bring the cows into the milk house in sets of five. sure to keep the ones that just had babies out to the very end because their milk can't go in the tank yet. When the cows come into the milk house, they can either go on the north or south side, each of which can hold five cows. Starting on either side, you start the cows by hand, one by one. This is to make sure that everything looks good and that their milk is good to go into the holding tank. After you do this, it's time to put on the milkers. All you do is press the start button, which starts the suction. Then, you just place the milker on one seat at a time and then attach the string to the milker. When the cow is done being milked, the string will start to pull and the milker will come off automatically. When all the cows on one side are done being milked, you let them out and then bring in five more to be milked. This same pattern keeps repeating until all the cows have been milked. While this is happening in the milk house, another worker has started to feed the younger cows and new baby calves. Since the new babies are not with their mothers anymore, milk has to be made from a powder called milk replacer. This milk is put into bottles for the youngest ones. Unlike us, calves like their milk warm.
for the older ones, milk is placed into buckets because they are bucket broken. When a calf is bucket broken, they are able to drink out of the bucket instead of the bottle. They like to get the calf's bucket broken as soon as possible because it saves time. For food, they are given corn as well as hay. You must also make sure that they have enough water to last until the evening so they don't get dehydrated, especially during the summer months. Back in the milk house, once the milking has been completed and all the calves have been fed, it's time to clean up. Just like the chores that you do at your house, we have our own here at the farm. The milkers must be washed by hand and hung up. Then you have to place the CIP cups on the milkers because the whole system goes through a washing cycle to keep things sanitary. You must also make sure that the north and south sides are clean. All you have to do for this is sweep out the nasty stuff. You must also clean out the bottles and buckets that were used to feed the babies. The milk from the cows is stored in this holding tank. It can hold up to 1,000 gallons of milk, but we like to make sure it doesn't get close to that amount. We don't want it to overflow. We would lose the milk that way. So that's where the milkman comes in. The milkman stops at the farm every other day to make sure that that problem never happens. The milkman checks to make sure the milk passes a couple tests before he can put it into his tank. He then takes the milk to a processing plant where the milk will be pasteurized and will then be ready for sale in stores. That was a lot of hard work. Good thing I don't have anything else to do till tonight. Wrong. There is always something to be done on the farm. Whether it is fixing equipment to working in the field, there is always something to be done. Now, what the farmers do during this daytime period all depends on what time of the year it is. Around this time of the year, it is harvesting time, and that means doing silage. Silage is one of the components that gets put into the feed that the larger cows eat. In order to do silage, you need tractors and wagons, a chopper, a bagger, and silage bags. For silage, we use four wagons and three tractors. That way, each tractor has a wagon, and so does the chopper. My uncle is always the one that operates the chopper. So he would be the first one to go out into the field and start chopping away. When the chopper drives, it chops the corn stalks at the bottom and feeds it into the machine, where it gets chopped up even more and flies into the empty wagon that he is pulling behind him. He chops until the empty wagon he once had is filled up with silence. By this time, us tractor drivers would already be on our way out into the field with another empty wagon. The hardest part of driving the tractor is finding the correct gear to put it in. Sometimes this can be very difficult with the old tractors.
chopper is always moving, so sometimes you have to scout the field to find where he is. You have to go track him down. Once you find where he is out in the field, you follow him until his wagon is full and he unhooks from it. You unhook from your empty wagon and go hook up to the full one. Then, you drive all the way back to where the bagger is while the chopper keeps on running. Once you arrive back at the bagger, you go in a large circle in order to get lined up properly. That was probably the hardest part of doing silage for me as a first time tractor driver this year. You don't want to get too close, but you don't want to be too far away even though the bagger is somewhat adjustable. So you pull up to the bagger and someone hooks up the PTO shaft for you. Then they turn it on and the silage starts coming out and goes up the conveyor belt into the bagger. Unload the wagon until it is completely empty. The person working the bagger then unhooks the PTO shaft and you go back out into the field to go get another full wagon. The cycle repeats over and over until the silage bag is full or it's quitting time for the day which just means it's time to go milk again. Now milking in the evening is the same as in the morning. You still have to do the same stuff, but now there are a few more things that are added in there that we need to do. The first thing to do in the evenings is to go get the cows out of the pasture. During the warmer parts of the year, the cows are allowed to go back to the pasture and graze and eat grass. But since they are back there, and still need to be milked, you need to go and get them. Usually this means hopping on a four-wheeler, going back there, and making sure everybody has come up. The second extra thing to do in the evening is to mix and put out feed. Remember that silage that we chopped earlier? Yeah, that's part of the feed along with other ingredients that are nutritious for the cows. You just put these things into the mixer and it will grind it up so that the cows can eat it. This generally takes around an hour to complete. Then you have to put it out on the bunk. Once the feed has been put out, someone will open up the gates and the cows will be allowed to eat. They are pretty messy eaters. Well, 
I hope that all of you have learned something from this short video and that it gave you an insight on what it is like to be a farmer and what an average day on the farm is like. Through the rain or snow, or on holidays or birthdays, farmers are working every day to provide. It's a very hard job, but it's worth it. <laughs>